Hi guys and welcome. It's Coach Carolyn here in my golf hallway, yours truly. And today I want to talk to you guys about how many cheeks do you see in your impact position? Is it zero? Is it one? Or is it two? Let's look at it. All right, cheeks. This is all about cheeks today. And I want you to actually look at your swing video next time you have a friend who can video your swing or maybe you still have one in your phone. Um, and I want you to look at, at impact, what does your butt look like? Yep, you heard me correctly. What does your butt look like? But at impact, <laughs> no other phase. So as you're going back, I want you to pay attention to when you're at impact, do you see the back of your butt? Do you see your lower back? Do you see any of this? If it's like this right here, you don't see any of that from me because I haven't rotated my lower body. And I see this so much in amateurs and they wonder why do I have the chicken wing? You know, why am I not connected? Why am I losing connection, especially on the way through? If you don't see any back or butt of yours and you see a chicken wing like this, those two are related guys. That's because you are not rotating because your hands, your body is stopping, right? It's not rotating. So what do your hands have to do? They overtake. And when your hands overtake, you have to almost, def you have to put in the parking brake. Your body is like, I got a break because your hands got super fast and your body wasn't matched up. So that's why that chicken wing on the left side is happening. So we want to make sure we keep rotating through impact. And sometimes you see half a cheek, you know, just like a quarter of your back. Sometimes you see one cheek, but ideally in some of the best players in the world, you almost see two cheeks, both of them at impact and just past it. So what that looks like is this, they'll be here and then they'll be like, boom, right? At impact, see this? So you can really see a lot of my back, a lot of my butt, yes, I said it. And, but that, what that means is you're rotating really, really well. And that's what we need essentially in the golf swing. If your lower body is stopping, and a lot of amateurs are obviously scared of rotating maybe too much because people always talk about a shift in a downswing and there is a shift. Don't get me wrong. There's a shift, a weight shift and a little bit of a hip shift, but the rotation is still 80% of it. So I'm going to show you this from the front because it's better to see right before you get to the top of the backswing, you're going to see this, which is a little bit of a weight shift, but then the rotation starts, right? And your hip rotation should always lead. See how my shoulders are still more shut than my hips. If I took my golf club and I kind of laid it across, my hips are already open, but my shoulders are already, are still kind of parallel, at least here. And then when you're going into impact, you really want those hips to be much more open than your shoulders. Your shoulders are almost parallel at impact, if slightly open, and your hips, you should really see a lot of your lower back and your butt already when you're just here and going through. So. This is the engine of your golf swing. Um, there's obviously some flexibility that is necessary to be able to do this, but make sure you train in the gym, make sure you actually do some stretching, make sure you do your yoga because golf, yes guys, golf is hard and you don't have to be 100% in these positions. I'm not suggesting that you have to be, you know, fully rotated like the pros. That's why the pros are pros. However, everybody can improve on it. If you're realizing that you see almost no cheek at impact and that you're actually not rotating enough with your hips, you can just give it that 10, 20% more and it's already going to make a huge difference to your golf swing. So don't get me wrong. Don't think that you have to do this 100% correct to get 100% improvement. Even sometimes 20% of improvement is going to help you 80% with your golf game. And that's the great news. So if you're in your hallway, you can train this pretty easily. And I just uploaded this tip on my Instagram as well a couple of days ago. So make sure you head on over there, set up to the wall, feel like you're swinging back. I feel like as you're swinging back, you're kind of getting your right hip into the wall. And then as you're coming down, you want to feel like first your both of your cheeks are on the wall. And then as you're going through impact, they both should be off of it. You shouldn't be feeling like one of them is really touching the wall fully. You want to make sure it's actually rotated and then you can stand up against the wall and then you're good. You don't want this to be like that where your right cheek and your, you know, the majority of your left cheek never comes off the wall. So super important, great tip. All you need is a wall. I hope you like it and you come see me next time. I always drop videos Mondays and Fridays here on YouTube and then my Instagram is pretty much every other day. So I'm here for you guys. Free golf tips. Golf is expensive. Golf is hard, but this is so much fun. I love having you guys and make sure you check out my next video and I can't wait to see you there.